Alrighty then, this is how I'm starting my day today. It is 12 p.m. and I have been very busy doing some prep work and housekeeping stuff this morning. And normally when I'm busy, I don't get hungry. So I haven't eaten really yet. I've only had a couple of pieces of melon earlier with my coffee. So what do we have here? I'm counting calories for the almond milk. One cup is 30 calories. I have a half a serving of the Oikos Triple Zero yogurt, which is uh, going to be tracked at 50 calories because these two items are not zero count foods and they are not power foods. I have some cinnamon on top of my yogurt. Underneath I have some uh, berries, a kiwi, and some golden honeydew melon. All three of those are power foods and so therefore I don't track calories for them. I wanted to mention that kiwis are really, really good for you as per Dr. Lee one a day keeps bad things away and I'm going to plug right in here uh, in the video the value of eating a kiwi according to Dr. Lee for you to sing and that's going to do it I'm having a cup of creme brulee flavored coffee which I'm really enjoying that I got at Walmart and that's it for now so I've prepped this tray of chicken and potatoes with onions that I made in the oven. I took all the skin off the chicken, seasoned it up nicely, sprayed everything with olive oil spray, and cooked it for about an hour at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Also prepped these banana oat muffins. I had an abundance of bananas that were over ripened and the best time to use them for this recipe is when they're very ripe because it naturally sweetens the muffin without adding any sugar. Uh, I'll plug in the ingredients. Let me back up on the video right here for you to see. Uh, yeah, these are less than, I'm going to also plug in the final count on the calories. These are less than 200 calories each and they smell delicious. I would use, um, you're going to have to track the 200 and if you're on Slimming World, I guess you'll track uh, the banana part and then count the other half as your healthy extra be. You probably could do that. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is what I've done this morning and I have a little bit more to show you. So prepped some chicken breasts that I made in my air fryer. Again, used cooking spray and my seasonings that I really enjoy having. And then I've prepped this organic quinoa, which I plan to use in like a salad. I guess they call those Buddha bowls now. I don't know, whatever they call them. It doesn't matter to me. It's going to be used probably as part of a salad along with this chicken. And uh, yeah, so that's my prep for today. This is what I'm having for my lunch. It's 4 p.m. So I don't want to eat too much, but I am a little hungry. So I have some power foods in this bowl, which are peas, corn, broccoli, and non-fat Greek yogurt. I weighed out one serving of that. It's the plain one. And then I have over top of that uh, zero count salsa. And the only thing I have to track is the Velveeta shreds, which 14 grams is 30 calories. And that's exactly what I weighed out on top. And I'm going to go eat this now. It smells really good and um, I'm going to enjoy it. That's what this is all about. Making food you enjoy, right? That's how we stay on plan. Here is my dinner for tonight. Everything on this plate is power food other than the dressing which is zero count and GU sugar-free barbecue sauce is two tablespoons for 10 calories and I will be counting that toward my 500 personal calories for the day so I will track that the dressing I made myself and I triple checked what the ingredients were and it just comes up zero calories for the amount I used anyway uh, so what's on the plate I have organic salad greens on the bottom and I have some raw yellow onion and peas and corn and a serving of quinoa and a serving of this is some of the chicken breast that I had made this afternoon prepped I was watching Joe's video of what she ate today and she was having a beautiful kebab chicken kebab and it just looks so yum so I decided to make uh, some of that chicken breast in the air fryer again with some to use barbecue sauce on it. That's the closest I can do to a kebab in the last minute anyway. So this is my meal for dinner and if I have anything else I'll come back and show you. Well hello there my friends. It is me Rodi here again with a combo video of what I eat in a day and my way day. 
So my way day went fine. I lost 0.2, not a tremendous amount. It wasn't a gain. I was expecting a gain. Truth be told, I'm having some struggles and it is not the plan. Um, struggle number one is making meetings on Mondays. Some things have changed and they are going to interfere with my ability to do that. So I'm kind of really disappointed, really disappointed. The other thing is um, I'm having some struggles on certain days of the week being able to keep within my calories. And I feel that if I'm not keeping within my calories, I'm struggling. I'm feeling I'm not like I'm not doing the plan because on I could say, well, I'll track calories entirely on the days that I'm not going to be able to be within 500 calories. And I've tried that, truth be told. I mean, I'm brutally honest on this channel. I have been all along. I'm not going to change that now. Um, so yeah, so now I tried on these particular days to track everything, but then I felt like, okay, I'm on a plan that I want to, um, enjoy doing and I'm getting stressed about it. And now I'm feeling like I'm not doing it because I'm counting calories. So then the next day I say, okay, the next day. Or a different day I'm going to do the plan because now these other things that are going on that I'm not going to get into the details of or not um, it's not stress or anything it's a logistics thing it's a uh, my ability to fit a certain amount of food in a short period of time because of my lap band having to pack in calories in a small amount equals processed food for me people that have lap bands generally do drink shakes and have bars it's a known thing especially the shakes so anyway, without making this into a whole big hoopla, this is where my struggle lies. Not being um, able to commit fully to the meeting time is secondary. I'm feeling uncomfortable about the plan because I feel that if I'm, e I'm either doing a plan or I'm not doing a plan, I don't find that I can do a plan halfway. So the calorie counting thing for the day and the only doing the 500 calories and the not counting all the food day, I just feel like I'm all upside down. And if, if someone were to tell me they were trying to do this, I'm not saying somebody couldn't do it successfully, but if they was telling me they're trying to do this and they're struggling, I'd say, I understand why, because you're not doing any plan. You know, if you're calorie counting, you're calorie counting, period. You're doing a plan. That's your plan for yourself. If you're doing grow, you're doing grow. If you're doing Slimming Raw, you're doing Slimming Raw. If you're doing WW or Weight Watchers, you're doing that. Or healthy, using the healthy app and the old Weight Watchers plans or whatever. If you're doing keto or you're doing, you know, whole food, plant-based, McDougal, whatever. You can... So I feel like I'm not committed to anything and I end up feeling that I'm not doing anything. So yeah, I lost point two, but you know what? I can't take credit for that. That just happened somehow. So where am I going from here? I'm going to take some time to think this over and um, I'm going to try a couple things and I'm just going to take it one a day at a time, one meal at a time. I'm not going to stress about it. There's no need to stress. I paid for a plan. I bought a couple cookbooks. I really think this is a great plan for people who don't like Slimming World, but like the methodology and the eating style of Slimming World. I think you should try this. You have nothing but a few dollars to lose. Even if you don't stick with it after three months and rebook yourself, if you're doing it online, you'll have a you'll have a reference book. You'll have a whole lot of information that you can gather in three months, and you should be able to do it yourself, just in the same way you can do Slimming World yourself. There's nothing magical or um, rocket science about it. It's really simple. So, um, yeah, so... I'm not leaving on a, um, I don't want to leave off on any type of a negative note. I want to be positive uh, about where I'm at because I think it's important that when you see things are not going in the direction you thought they might, that you switch up and, and you regroup yourself because there's plenty of people out there, thousands and thousands, probably millions that are doing plans that they shouldn't be doing and they don't realize it. They're paying for things that are costing them a lot of money and it's not working and they keep thinking it's them. And sometimes it not all plans are made for everyone. That doesn't make a plan a bad plan. Please don't misunderstand what I'm trying to say. 
and I include Weight Watchers in that. There are plenty of people on Weight Watchers that have successfully lost all their weight and they continue to have it, their lifetime members. There are plenty of those people out there. You know, it's the plan that worked for them. It is not the plan that worked for me, period. Does that make it a bad plan? No, I have problems with the Weight Watchers company, I, uh, the corporation. Um, I don't like their, what they do. I don't like what they represent anymore, but that's separate from, I'm not gonna take anything away from the people that are successful. I'm not gonna sit here and try to tell anyone that they're not successful and that they shouldn't do the plan. That would be ridiculous. Anyway, um, I see, feel the same about Slimming World. I see people doing Slimming World and loving it. I don't know anybody that's, um, I can't say that I personally know of anyone that's lifetime off the top of my head or a target member. I think that's what they're called in Slimming World. I don't know anyone. I don't think I do, but I know people that are doing it. I know other YouTubers that are doing it and um, some people are struggling. This is a struggle, you know, it, it is a struggle. No there's no magic plan, there's no magic pill, there's no magic shot, there's no magic surgery. It, the magic is within us to have the, the ability to keep on fighting the fight and keep on going even if we take some stops along the way. We do take stops. We all know that we take stops. The most important thing is not the stopping, it is the starting again and the keep on going. As long as we do that, we have hope and we will continue to try to get healthy. And that is the mission for all of us, I think, anyway. I know it is for me. So, I want to leave off on a positive note. Yes, I do really, really enjoy Kieran. I think that he has so much to offer people um, as an individual person. And I think if you have any thought in your mind that you might want to give it a try, that you should, your money would be well spent. I could see... Money is hard for everybody. Um, it's difficult to choose where you're going to spend your money. But if you've already spent it on skating other things and you can manage to put some money together to try something new that could potentially be something that really could help you, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that that's not a good idea. If you're comfortable spending that money, I don't think you're going to be sorry for the person that you're going to meet and the people that you're going to have in your Facebook group for this plan uh, and the people that you'll have in group, whether you're in a studio in the UK, in Wales, or whether you're online on Zoom. I've met nothing but very nice, supportive people. There is a lot of support in this Facebook group and Karen is in that Facebook group. So, um, yeah, give it a shot. And if that, you know, if you want to stay in Slimming World, you want to give Slimming World another shot. I'm still a member of Slimming World. I, I didn't think I was when I signed on for Grow, but I am. So I'm currently a member. I'm still paying. And, um, you know, I'm going to keep on going. So hopefully I have a, a, the next thing that you'll see, this is my weigh-in and my uh, what I eat in a day. And the next thing I'll have coming up for you is a food haul. And maybe after that, we'll see where I'm at and what I'm going to be planning on doing. But in the meantime, please do something good for yourself today. If you can't do it today, I don't know when you'll be seeing this video, then do it tomorrow, but do it because you're worth it. And no one else can take good care of you as well as you can take care of yourself. You know, we have to do that. We do. You're important. So please do it. And now I'm going to say goodbye. And I'm going to send you hugs and I will see you again next time. Be well, my friends. Thank you.